following podcast is recorded and produced by the Podcast Precinct in affiliation with the network at BICBP-radio.com. The Podcast Precinct. Consistency. Creativity. Culture. The Nostalgia Funhouse proudly dedicates all episodes in the loving memory of Connie Chirac. So, Johnny, I've, I've been hearing really great things about this Nostalgia Funhouse. It just brings back so many great memories. Andrew, uh, another reason I'm maybe in line with you here is that you really vouch for this show. So, I'm just going to believe you that this is the show that you know I've been wanting, which is just talking about all the fun stuff from our yesteryear and the years before uh, and i really hate anything meta so i'm glad that what we're doing right now is not that oh no definitely what is meta is it, isn't that ron artessa's new name <laughs> <laughs> well add world of peace to it sure <laughs> yeah but this is this is great they like last year they were like tearing play sets and halloween costumes and well they, that sounds cool they get like this weird court recordings from like pop culture courts does anybody care about court cases uh, these ones are kind of cool. They put mm. Scott Kelvin on trial for Santa Claus there. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, you're. That sounds interesting. Yeah, man. You know what's the best part about this is though? Is I hear they always got a really great sponsor. You can check it out right there. On the next wonderful world of Disney, fast times in Duckburg, and a fabulous feast of cartoon fun when Uncle Donald throws a hot party on his birthday. Everybody's invited over to see Donald's home movies starring Goofy, It's a good look. Pluto, and Mickey Mouse. Hello, everybody. I don't know why I started off. <laughs> oh, I did. Hello, everybody. Oh. Almost like oh. a... Val Venus at the beginning there. Hello. I think because we're doing this uh, Disney draft. I think I was trying to go for like a, what is it? Wonderful World of Disney. You know, yeah, like yeah. Disney sitting on the desk. Yeah, and I immediately thought you were going for like a 90s wannabe porn star WWE wrestler. So it makes sense. That's more a little bit more energetic. That's like, hello, yeah. ladies. Hello. I made a thing about that. A while ago, that Val Venus should be the spokesperson for Hello Fresh. I th- and you, I don't think it. I think it fell flat. I you say I, that, but I've seen Val Venus's current stuff. He says on Twitter, and I don't know if you want. That. Yeah, I, well, I know that now. <laughs> I know that now. Uh, I do. All right, but we, oh, well, I'm Andrew Lenz. This is Johnny Townsend. If this is your first time to the Nostalgia Funhouse. And just so you know, we're both old. We're both really tired. We're both apparently pretty sore. Yes. Uh, And uh, so this is going to be a fun time for us both. (laughs) Do you want to know how we're feeling right now? (laughs) Incoming wrestling reference. Just look up CM Punk's... uh, Press conference with the AEW. Or just this whole time in AEW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're going to put on a happy face because we're talking, we're, yeah. we're doing Disney. That's right. Yeah. Disney. Andrew. Disney? Yeah or nay? Disney now? Nah, in general. I mean, this is a nostalgia show, so. Uh, okay. So not to get all Brian Finch on you. <laughs> oh, God. Let me set a timer. No, 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 no. You know how, like, oh, you have everything. Yeah. So, Brian, if you're listening to this, we we truly love you, buddy. We do. Yeah. It's just jokes, man. So just for me, Disney World got kind of boring growing up because I have family in Florida. Wow, um, talk about privilege over there. Okay, so I have family. I've, I've been one time, and I was an adult. <laughs> okay, so you're up there with my wife. So yeah. Me going to Disney, I, I think now now that it's changed, but me going to Disney World was like, oh, we're doing this, we're doing this. And it's so bad that like my aunt would be like, oh, we're going to go to Disney World. We're going to spend the day at Disney. Uh, she worked for Holiday Inn, so on the we didn't have to track all the way back. They lived in the Tampa Bay area, and I think it's about an hour, 45-minute drive, so she'd always get us a nice hotel. 
Yeah. And uh, so about a year or two ago, I broke it to her that going to Florida and going to like things I look forward to going to Florida, Walt Disney World did not make the top five. <laughs> and she was like, what made the top? Like, why did you guys enjoy coming here? I was like, well, outside of seeing you guys, you know, uh, she lived in a condo that had a pool. I said, oh, there you go. The pool yeah. was cool. Uh, she had a Seven Eleven that had the old slush puppies where you actually had a puppy <laughs> there up. I like that. They had I a- love how this is better than Disney World. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, in my little kid brain, that's what this is. This was better. Yeah. Uh, they had an amazing Chuck E. Cheese with a lion dress. That is not a sentence that I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, with a lion, it was a lion dressed up as an Elvis impersonator, and I used to uh-huh. sit there yeah. and be tranced by it. And I also had a little mouse door that you could walk through. Oh, nice kids! So that was always yeah. Fun. So there was like a whole bunch of like the beach, and she was like, "So we spent all this money." to get you guys to Disney World every single time you guys came here. And all we had to do was go to, like, Chuck E. Cheese or the beach. Or and 7-Eleven. Eleven. 7-Eleven. I'm like, they could have yeah. saved, saved so much money. Yeah. I'm like, yep. 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 Yeah. All we had to no, do. I get it. I am not a theme park person myself. Like, they're fine. I think they're, like, for me, they were always visit once, and I'm pretty good. Yeah. It... And I couldn't imagine honestly taking. I know it's for families. Oh, it's a to do. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I couldn't imagine waiting because I know line like lines in that place are like hours long, and I cannot do that. I, oh. I refuse. <laughs> Thank God my kids were small. The little kid that lives down the hall for me. Yeah, he was probably about two or three. He fell asleep in my arms. So now I have this child sleeping in my arms, and I'm like, holy shit, complete dead weight. And I'm like, I just want to like, <laughs> yeah, drop them, just drop it. them somewhere. <laughs> and then the other thing that really pissed me off about Disney is you think you got all these families and you're bringing little kids and they're strollers. So we get onto the monorail, we can leave them in the stroller, and then all of a sudden we get to like this little trolley thing that takes you to your car. We yeah. were in Simba 19, I want to say, because I had the note on my phone like, and I just deleted it like two years ago. And this has been. <laughs> nearly 10 years and so we're getting on this little thing and it's like a little trolley and i go to the guy i'm like can we just so i don't have to take them out of the stroller fold the stroller and then carry that on to there i'm like can i just like can we just like pick them up and kind of like put it into like this little trolley thing and he's like nope he's got to be out of the stroller so i'm thinking to myself disney do better when it comes to families yeah um, I, this is definitely a Brian Finch thing because, uh, so yeah, you're nailed Disney. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm in between. I'm in between. It's a to do now. We'll just, I didn't even, I wasn't even talking about the theme parks. Oh. I was talking about, I was talking about like the, the movies and the shows. Not that great anymore. And this, like, as a kid, they were important to me. Oh, yeah. Uh, they were, they were, I would say, dare say, vital for kid Johnny. Now they're hit or miss, but yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I'd like to. Well, but I'm overall, really, I'd say I'd say yeah, just on a legacy standpoint. Maybe we'll talk about this next month because I've been really wanting to just vent on Disney and Hasbro about how they just destroyed everything. No, they just uh, think they can do nostalgia, but cheaper is what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. well, not that cheap. <laughs> oh, cheaper for them, not for us. Yeah, in the crowd. Yeah. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. But we are daft, drafting uh, Disney characters. Johnny said over 12. I put 12 on. Johnny, I made an executive decision. I think you're going to be fine with this because Johnny never gives me pushback. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you said a couple over, and you gave me, like, one like one person, like, one character. I'll just say you gave me, who did you give me, Chip? Or, no, you gave me Dale. Yeah, Dale from Chippendale. And I'm like, you can't do that. So I just had to put them together. Cause I, okay, I see that, yeah. I used a wrestling mentality once again. like, Oh, you tag-teaming them, yeah. Yeah, like how weird was it to see like 
road warrior animal. Yeah, I understand. The only reason I just picked Dale because he's my favorite of the two, and I thought I could only have one. I didn't know I could do both. Well, I figured we were gonna, but then I started thinking about it. It's kind of ridiculous to do. Yeah, one or the, I got you. Yeah, to do one or the other. But he, but they are in there. Uh, but I was thinking. And by the way, this draft is we're drafting them for whatever. No, I just thought about this. Not even just for sports. I might be oh. like, hey, I want Goofy because he's he's really good I, at other things, like maybe housework. We, I think we, I thought I was thinking that we could do it like if we were to open up our own Disney theme park. Oh man, I would never do that. <laughs> I'd re- I'd rather open up a Seven <laughs> Eleven. I would open up my own. <laughs> I would too. You know what? I would too. But it would just be like one small room. <laughs> I would see the character. <laughs> just a couple of characters in there. That's it. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, I hate. Oh, don't. It's so hot there. Okay, but. Oh yeah, it is. Florida is a uh, uh, news alert. Florida is hot. It's so humid. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like I live here in Texas and I'm like, oh, it's hot. I was straight completely drenched in Florida with sweat. I always love that that uh, thing people always say. It's a dry heat. Yeah. It's still hot. <laughs> well, we're going to flip. Uh, Johnny, call it in the makeshift website that I'm using. Uh, I'll say heads. Oh, I made a noise. Oh, we're easily entertained today. Ah, first pick. First pick. Let me write you down. I had to find a notebook. The first time in a long time I actually had to go looking for a notebook. Oh, man. Terrible movie. I know people love that movie, but it's not for me. I've never seen it. I've stayed away from it. (laughs) I've never seen it all the way through. All right. So we do drafts different. We randomize names. That's right. We do draft different. Yes. If you want to watch a nor, you want to listen to a normal draft. If you want to be one of the normies, sure. You go be you, not us. We do draft different here. You go to crafting and drafting. Yeah, okay. you go there. You go there. And tell them that we sent you. <laughs> See, Brian Finch, we made it up. We <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> gave your podcast the plug. And I know I'm coming off aggressive, but it's because I'm tired. And I can't control what level I'm at. <laughs> okay, so we do things different. Uh, we do a random name. Uh, Johnny has first pick, so he can either pick that person or give it. Or Basically, I can either keep them or pass them on. Yep. Yeah. So, Johnny. Here we go. Hoping here. for a good one. Scrooge McDuck. Keep, I'm not even thinking twice about it. Uh, obviously, I need somebody for... Uh, diving in the Olympics, and this guy literally dives through coins uh, like they're nothing. And this is an easy pick, number one on my dive team. This guy, and you know you're going to make money, and he's going to fund the whole thing. There you go, bam, easy, 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 great first pick for me. What did I just do? And then Andrew destroyed our whole thing. I did. <laughs> What's happened? I don't understand any of this. <laughs> I feel about, like like recording this for YouTube. <laughs> All right, we're back on. Okay. All right. All right. Next one. So hopefully this is... Scrooge doesn't come up again. Timon and Pumbaa. I'm taking them. I did this as a tag team as well. I get it. Yeah. I don't think away, see... a ween boy, a ween boy. <laughs> I don't think I want to see either one without each other i can see what's happening and they don't have a clue <laughs> i i kind of had a clue as a kid oh i i knew exactly what was happening simba was getting it on <laughs> johnny is not allowed to be tired anymore on the show. <laughs> wait no she... oh they put him only as one okay so is it got... is it gonna be the three kids it's though the three it's gotta be okay. Huey, Dewey, oh yeah yeah oh i'm keeping them i already have scrooge I forgot how much you love talking animals. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> if you want to, you know, you know how you meet friends is you find some common ground. So then if you like talking animals, I'm your guy. <laughs> Please check out in the archives. I have no <laughs> idea what episode it was, but we did this with uh, 
what is it? Oh, Saturday morning ca- or cartoons, like yeah, in general. Yeah, all about it, we're talking animals. Oh, Johnny, I, Johnny. I'll make this round now for this. If any of mine are are he or uh talking animals, I'm instantly taking them. If they're a human being, they can go to hell. <laughs> like this one, the mad hatter. Yeah, he can go to hell. <laughs> I don't know if I should put the hair with him. But the what? The hair. The other the mat. Oh yeah. Yeah, the But yeah. then I remembered, okay, so this is this was my logic in it. Is I went with like the looking at the Batman villain, the Mad Hatter. Yeah. He didn't have the sidekick of the hair. No, he did not. I figured you could leave it alone. Jarvis, that was his name. Uh, All right, Johnny. Your pick here. All right, here we go. Be a talking animal, talking animal. I got it. There's no way I'm getting rid of Genie. Genie instantly makes my team. I got a rich guy. I got some kids. (laughs) Some kid talking ducks. And I got a Genie uh, who can do a. I'm getting at least three wishes here. You it's literally the- have an episode of DuckTales going on right now. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> I swear there is one where they found a genie. There's, there's got a genie be. from Aladdin, but... But a genie nonetheless, yeah. Maybe it's Genie Bus. They found the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, I'm keeping Mary. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have her. <laughs> did you see she, that they she did? Me- she meets none of my criteria, Andrew. She did hang out with talking animals. But is she herself a talking animal? No. Did you see All right, just up the rating on Mary Poppins? Like the like to it, what is it? Like rated R now? Uh maybe PG, PG thirteen because of some coarse language <laughs> or like sensitive language in it. Oh, uh, that's been forever since I've seen it. I don't even remember what that language aren't there Nazis in it? <laughs> No, that's the sound of music. Oh, <laughs> I get the too confused. Different Julie Andrews movie. <laughs> Let's go on a number. <laughs> We've been on a roll with our podcast journey. Oh, Dumb- uh, I got to. Yeah, this is this my pick, right? Dumbo stays. <laughs> Guess what? He's an elephant. He talks and he can fly. I loved getting free Disney previews and you could watch Dumbo's Flying Circus. Yeah. Oh, man. Because I was a poor kid. We didn't have that. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Do I want Mickey Mouse? I can't, you know, believe, I, I can't believe you're even questioning this. I don't want him. Who Who do you think you are? <laughs> I'm Andrew Lenz, and I've had a, my fill of Mickey Mouse in his damn clubhouse and listening to the hot dog song. So, Johnny, this, you have you have Mickey Mouse. I'll take him. That's <laughs> the fa- face of my franchise right there. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> Great South Park episode. So this is still you. This goes back to you. Do you want Bagheera? That's from Jungle Book, right? Yeah. Really that's the uh that's the uh not the tiger, but the uh the panther. The panther. Not the one, not the party that Forrest Gump went to. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. Good. I love Bagheera. I understand him so much now. <laughs> He's just trying to get the man cub to the damn village, and Blue had to come along <laughs> and screw everything up. To me, that's the one "quote unquote" live action remake that Disney oh, did that I really liked. Was that one? That was, was a really good one. Was the Jungle Book? Yeah, I liked the original Jungle Book because Bagheera was voiced by Mister French from Family Affair. That's right. Yeah. And whose pick is this? I'm confused. This is, this yours. is yours. No, I gave you Bagheera. Oh, so is this, this is mine. Donald yeah. Duck, come on down. Oh man. I had a whole, I got a whole crew of pencilless ducks, and you took the last one I needed. Well, he's not always on there. We might be having to make a trade. We could, <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll do a trade. <laughs> I gotta have a, the last of the, of the talking ducks. All right, so we are in the bottom half, like with Donald not wearing pants. It's my pick. Oh no, it's your pick. Yeah, it's my pick. 
We're not. Launchpad McQuack. I'm just easy, like, easy, easy. Yes. Come on over to the team. This man is indestructible. This duck man is indestructible. Literally crashes every plane he's been in and walks away. Launchpad, welcome to the team. I have the only talking duck so far, not on. He's duck. the closest animated character to Harrison Ford. <laughs> When it comes to flat airplanes. <laughs> Can Harrison Floor play him? Oh, I'm going to keep Tigger. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, man. He could be great in basketball. He's really, he's really great at balancing. That's what Tiggers do best. They they do, yeah. That's a great pick for you. Johnny. Chippendale, Chip easy pick. Not only do I get Chippendale, but guess what? They're rescue rangers, Andrew. Not the dancers. No. But I'm sure they would they would dance. I mean, I guarantee you those certain parties people were dressed as Chip and Dale and dancing. Do they have the best Disney afternoon game? Yes. A hundred percent. Both of them, one and two, both are great. I will take Peter Pan. Yeah, you can keep him. You can keep him. Don't want him. Four people that we are four characters, sorry, because they're not all people. <laughs> we don't want Johnny to come after me. That we will not be taking. Yep. All right, Johnny, it's your pick here. All right, and Dark Point. Uh, that's, that's such an easy yes. <laughs> yes, thank you. I've got a just a sea of ducks. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a pond? <laughs> no, I got so many ducks they won't fit in a pond. I got to go to the sea. That's why I need Donald. He's a sailor. <laughs> yeah. He, he, I will take Goofy. Ah, man. Yuck. I will definitely take Goofy. All right. Uh, we got to have this uh, discussion. What? Is he, is he a dog or is he a, uh, what is he? Jeez. I think he's just a dog man. But I Pluto exists in the same universe. That's why it's weird. Johnny, you, your favorite cartoon of all time is Talking Turtles. I don't understand what maybe, that what that's to do with this. Maybe Goofy went through some mutagen, and Pluto didn't. That's the origin story we need. <laughs> <laughs> you never thought about that, did you? <laughs> I loved Goofy before, but now even more. <laughs> He's a rejected TMNT character. <laughs> all right. Uh, who we got? Oh, Rick and Ralph. Got to keep them. This is, a, I'm breaking oh. my human rule. As I swear here. <laughs> my human rule I'm breaking. Technically, he's a video game character. I was so excited when you wrote him down. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we forgot I... to mention our, our rule for this is. Oh, yes. No Pixar. It's all Disney. We may do a Pixar yeah. only one in the near future. So. so Pretty much no subgenre of Disney. Right, yeah. All right. Let's see if you get a good one. Mine. I will say all these are great characters that we have picked. Oh, we already Yeah, we already did that one. That one doesn't count. And so split them up. I just think what are we going to split them up? All right. Oh. You can have them. You're missing out, Andrew. You this... can have the beast. You don't understand. Beauty and the Beast is the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. See, I have the best of both worlds. He's a human and he's a talking animal. He's both. See, this is my other logic in this one, too, is he kind of existed before Beauty, even though it's called Beauty and the Beast. Oh, he definitely existed before Bell did, yeah. But yeah. nobody talks about that age difference. So your roster is filled out. All right. I get the next two no matter what. That's who you're stuck with. Eeyore. Oh, that's a great one. But uh, your team's going to be so depressed. <laughs> that's okay. He's voiced by Peter Kala. That's right. And the last one for my roster is Baloo. Oh, that's a great one. So who did not get picked was Baymax. 
Thumper, Pluto, Winnie the Pooh, and who am I missing? That's it, right? I think that's it. Yeah, that's I it. I think it's it, yeah. Okay, maybe my numbers were off. <laughs> no, Johnny, no, no. Johnny. <laughs> yeah. We're, you You wanted to talk trade. Okay, all right. Um, I, is there a guy on my team you would want to trade? wreck it, Ralph. Done. You have wreck it, Ralph? I'll take Donald. Okay. <laughs> you idiot. I got all the ducks now. <laughs> Guess what? And they're in a row, my friend. <laughs> you, yeah, you did have two ducks. <laughs> all my ducks, and they're in a row. I got Darkwing. I got Scrooge. I got the nephews. And now I got Donald. Yeah, here here is your lineup. <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. I got the quack pack, my friend. <laughs> Johnny's got should I have put the Mighty Ducks characters from, <laughs> Mighty, <laughs> from the Mighty Ducks cartoon? Uh Johnny's got Scrooge McDuck, Huey Dewey and Louie, the Genie, Dumbo, Mickey Mouse. Damn, you got like the yeah, you have like the OG spot. Oh, I got Goofy them. Uh, Launchpad McQuack, Chip and Dale, Darkwing Duck, The Beast, and Donald Duck. I said a lot of duck names there. Yeah. I'm coming in with Timon and Pumbaa, The Mad Hatter, Mary Poppins, Bagheera, Tigger, Peter Pan, Goofy, Eeyore, Baloo, and Wreck-It Ralph. I'm yeah, I've, I feel like I won. I think you did. I think I got this one. If somebody, yeah, if they were going to vote, you are all Disney afternoon. Yeah, you can tell when I grew up. <laughs> you are all <laughs> Disney afternoon. And if I say duck one more time today, I'm going to <laughs> I'm just going to spend the rest of the day just sending you pictures of famous ducks. You know what Billy Madison would say about your team? What's that? It's quacktastic. It sure is. <laughs> you know, and only cool ducks pee their non-pants. <laughs> yeah, do any of them wear pants? No, they don't need them, Andrew. No, Launchpad. Oh, yeah, Launchpad does wear pants. He does yeah. wear pants. He is the only fully clothed duck. That's because he's a, he's a pilot. They're required. Him and uh, what was the inventor guy? Oh, yeah. On uh, DuckTales. I know who you're talking about. What was his name? Oh, my goodness. i got to look this up now. Is it like Gadget or something like that? No, I'm thinking that's Gadget. Inspector that's right. Gadget. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, that's Rescue Rangers. No, that's Gidget. Whatever. It's close enough. No, that's... Uh, no, Gidget's Rescue Rangers. And also Sally Fields. I don't know that one. No, I know the Rescue Rangers. You didn't know about Gidget? She was like a beach goer. You know about the, I can't remember where it's at. It's in another country, but there's literally a cult that's like dedicated to Gidget from Chippendale Rescue Rangers. That really, um, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go home now. Uh, <laughs> right, Andrew's looking this up. If you, okay, so this is, this is, if you were just a person, like if we just met, it's 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 uh Jaro, right? Jaro Girlo, isn't that it? Yeah. Yeah. Click okay. on the character. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah. Yeah. But if you were if if Johnny was just somebody I met off the street and was like, hey, <laughs> you know there's this cult all sort all a religion. Yeah. All centered around Gidget from Chippendale Rescue Rangers, I'd be like, I don't know about this guy. But for the simple fact that I know him. And I know about his other podcasts. It just seems so you, like a normal, everyday conversation. That's literally how I introduce myself to new people. So you're telling me I shouldn't do that? Um, no, I keep on doing it. I mean, I've gotten a few. You friends want to weed it. out the weirdos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's, you're laughs> you want to weird out all the weirdos? Yeah, you're right. Out the weirdos. <laughs> weed them all out. Get out of yeah. here. If you can't yeah. accept me for knowing this useless information, yeah, 
I don't want to know you. And part two, would you join? <laughs> I have a pamphlet. That should be a question. If you could set around a religion <laughs> around one childhood character or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> It'd probably be Luke. Andrew, I think it's got to be somebody a little more obscure than Luke. Well, there's technically already a Jedi religion, you there know. Is. So I think we need somebody obscure, like you know, or a, a random member of the of the Rescue Rangers is kind of obscure, especially compared to Luke Skywalker. Would it be launch? You're going launch pad, aren't you? I am definitely going launch pad. If you said Johnny, <laughs> launch pad has his own cult. Do you want to be a part of it? I'd say, say no more, my friend. I'm hopping on a plane, and I'm crashing down into it. I would love to see it. <laughs> when it comes crashing down, and it hurts inside. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, not too much more. We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> but uh, also, I figured out who the other character that we missed was, and it was Thumper from Bambi. There we go. Yeah. Thumper, you're not doing anything. But that is oh, it. He, he can't. He's Twitter painted. Is he? Oh, he got Twitter painted. They all oh, got Twitter painted. I thought painted, you meant like he got canceled by Twitter. <laughs> no, no. In the movie Bambi, that's what they called when you got old yeah. enough to start liking people in a certain way. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Twitter painted. I PG that up for you. I huh? I PG that up. Yeah. I <laughs> well, I did drop an F bomb on this, so uh, <laughs> again, we're old and we're cranky. I just, <laughs> I just don't know old why. cranky man talk about I heard, I heard Twitter and I was like, oh, did they cancel Thumper now? Like what what is wrong? <laughs> you know, they do they cancel everything. Like, you're right. We can't have good things anymore because Twitter, oh. or sorry, X goes around canceling it. How much time do we have on our hands that we can deep dive into this stuff? Look, I am not going to sit here and tell, tell you people are on their phones too much. I'm on my phone too much. I'm on my phone. I, I am not going to be a hypocrite about it. But, but uh, I, I don't care about a cartoon that came out in the 30s that we should go back and cancel it. It came out, it's a product of its time. You know, last thing I Googled was very, very important. As I'm going back and watching some old episodes of Bob's Burgers, is was Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> I love Bob's that's Burgers. one of my favorite shows. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't. It just sounded like him. Oh, okay. So, I didn't get too crazy, but. I was a little disappointed because I kind of enjoyed Jesse Eisenberg. And some There's some deep lore with uh, Bob's Burgers. You know, the guy who voices Jimmy Pesto, the guy who owns the restaurant across the street. That guy doesn't work there anymore. This is in real life because uh, he may or may not have been. By that, I mean, he was definitely at the January 6th thing at the Capitol. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah yeah okay <laughs> that was another one you want to talk about another dumb moment always okay so everybody talks about where they are in big things so january 6th mad and my, I sis my sister's birthday by the way <laughs> <laughs> they went to the wrong party uh <laughs> So Matt and I are recording. Are re are I would have loved if, like, if that was true, they're all meant to go to my sister's birthday party, and she's just sitting there by herself, like, "Where's the guy with the with the <laughs> the deer head?" Where's he at? You know what happened, right? What they took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. That's yeah. Bugs has been telling us about that turn for years. But I'm recording that. You're going to laugh at this one. So I think I've already told you this. Matt and I are recording two point and I stay out of a lot of news. I don't care. It yeah. aggravates me. So we're recording two point and I think this was when we were recording two episodes at a time. So we're in like the middle pause and I'm getting my notes ready. And he's like, oh my goodness. Did you hear what happened at DC? And or it, 
you're like at DC or in DC. And I'm like, no, what? And I'm like, oh my goodness. Did like DC and I'm thinking comic. Yeah. I literally was started thinking Batman. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, are they like going under? And this is when the panel discussion was an actual comic book thing. And I just heard from them that they were getting uh, rid of actual kind of cutting back on actual physical comic books. Yeah. And he was like, no, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, no, they just stormed the Capitol. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. You yeah. should have been like Batman. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was like, damn, ignorance <laughs> is bliss. I am the guy in the matrix eating the steak. Yeah. It truly really is bliss. I'd rather not know half the time. Yeah. It's way more depressing when you do know. <laughs> but you know where you can find us, though? Is on the Where's B- that? On the BICBP Radio Network, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Facebook, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. That's right. Uh, leave us a review, a like. Uh, send us in requests if you want to. We may just do them as well for reviews. Drafts. Uh, also, if you happen to work in podcast promotion, if you could just please message us, we don't get enough of those. <laughs> yes, if you are, if you are from a Southern Asian country, please. Yeah, <laughs> just message us. We would love to hear from you and tell us uh, what we're doing wrong. <laughs> just say hello and how you can grow us organically. Yeah, I do that myself, which is fun considering I can see your followers when the, you're telling me we have more than you. <laughs> Never a good sign. No. <laughs> oh well, that is. Oh, good. before okay. we uh, before we end, I wanted to bring this one last thing up to you because yeah. this is kind of nostalgia. Did you see where this place got in a lot of trouble? I can't remember exactly where it was at, but they'd promoted their Willy Wonka experience oh, using AI imagery. Like this is they were saying this is the place you're going to show up to. And it looks like this, and it literally looks like you're walking into that amazing world of Willy Wonka, right? Like all the bright colors, the candies and stuff. And it looks incredible. But then they put that picture of what they promoted next to what it actually was. <laughs> and it is hilarious. I, I'll send you the pictures. It's so oh, funny. It's night and day. Nowhere near what they were promising, so they got in a lot of trouble for it. Come with me, and you will see a world of complete disappointment. <laughs> yeah, what a I world! I gotta watch in. the new one. I haven't seen it yet. I gotta watch a lot of stuff. I just, I did watch. Put the, I haven't seen the new Aquaman, and it just came out on Max. I need to watch it. I watched the Marvels, and it took me two sessions to watch it. And that's like the shortest Marvel movie there's been. <laughs> Which tells you kind of what you need to know. It's not entertaining. It's not a very good villain. It's well, they uh, they didn't uh, build anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, I also think too when it's starting to come with Marvel movies, I'm starting to go with the Jim Cornette philosophy for wrestlers. How can we miss you if you never go away? Yeah. That's my. Yeah whole thing on a lot of properties now or uh storytelling you know work on that please no AEW. uh but with that being said what may not be nostalgia for you may be nostalgia for some and what may be just a random talking animal for you might be perfect for my team especially if they're a duck that refuses to wear pants (laughs) 